When producing quality beef calves from the dairy herd, we have two tools at our disposal. The commercial beef value, which is used by beef farmers, and the dairy beef index, which is used by dairy farmers. What is the CBV, or the commercial beef value? It's a tool used to identify higher beef merit calves and expressing their value in euros. Available for cattle likely to be finished as beef, and higher CBV animals have been shown to grow faster, finish earlier, and have higher levels of food conversion efficiency. The calves are assigned one of three breed types, so you've beef by beef, beef by dairy, or dairy dairy. And they're assigned a star rating of one is to five. As we can see here from the chart, a four star dairy beef animal comes in at 102 euros on the commercial beef value, whereas a dairy dairy, which would typically be a Holstein Friesian, will come in at four stars at five euros. So there's very different uh, ratings for dairy beef versus dairy dairy. If we look then at the dairy beef index, this is the tool that is to be used by dairy farmers when selecting bulls for use on their cows. It comprises of three main sub-indexes, and this one is calving, beef, and carbon. The, the progeny from high DBI bulls will generally produce more revenue than a low DBI bull, given their, given their suitability for purchase by the beef farmers. It's advisable for dairy farmers to pay attention to the carcass value and the beef sub-index of the sires, while at the same time paying attention to the gestation length and the calving ease. A beef sub-index of a minimum of 100 euros is, is required, and for early maturing bulls, dairy farmers must try and, and achieve a, a carcass value of at least 10 kilos on early maturing Angus and Herefords, while on continental bulls, it's advisable to push near 20 kilos of carcass. As, as I said already, they must pay attention to the calving ease and gestation length of the bulls that are selecting.